The University of Tennessee at Martin hosted the second annual stimulation camp, sponsored by the UT Martin Office of Extended Campus and Online Studies, and directed by Dr. Lewis Glover, a former mathematics and science middle and high school instructor and current assistant professor of education. The camp exposed 6th, 7th, and 8th graders to a variety of STEM activities, which encouraged application of math and reasoning skills and creativity. The theme of this year's camp was energy and the environment. Over the course of a week, students worked on a series of hands-on activities to prepare them for the team challenges. These activities included video game programming, bottle rocket building, mousetrap car and solar vehicle construction, and bridge building. Once a finished product was created, the students tested them to find out how well it performed before entering it into the team challenge competitions at the end of the week. With video game programming, students used Scratch programming as the framework of their games. As they learned how to create, use, and code different programs, students decided what kind of game to make before creating and animating sprites and eventually testing gameplay for themselves. At the end of the week, judges played the games and named a winner based on game design, how well the games were programmed, and the number of levels. The bottle rockets were created with the ultimate goal to reach the highest altitude. While constructing their rockets, students learned about its different aspects, such as propulsion, stability, wind resistance, and drag. Once their rockets were completed, they were launched, and the students given the task of calculating and submitting how high their rockets reached. One, seven, two. During mousetrap car construction, students gauged the different effects of the mousetrap's position to the axle and decided whether they wanted their cars to move quickly or move less quickly in exchange for distance. Students incorporated a solar panel on another vehicle and learned how to connect the solar panel to the engine. During vehicle testing, they learned what impact accurate construction had on the vehicle's path of movement, such as whether mistakes in lining up the axle caused the vehicle to veer off track. Afterward, the students raced their vehicles, first in a qualifying round to make sure the vehicles would reach the required distance, and finally a race to see which could cross the finish line first. In the last activity, students looked at bridge designs and built their own model bridges. Before assembling the bridges, students worked together to take careful measurements to ensure their bridges would be as well built as possible. The quality of each team's bridge was put to the test by adding weight into a bucket hoisted by the bridge until the bridge failed. The winners of the competition were determined by which team's bridge held the most weight. At the end of the camp, the winners of each competition were announced and given award medals. Following the award ceremony, the students were given words of encouragement in hopes to inspire them to continue pursuing their interests in STEM with the knowledge that students will use the skills they learn during the next school year.